Okay, so this is why game engine development is hard. Uh, those are like a tree module, as you can obviously see. It's from Sketchfab, from this artist here. Uh, the those three trees have fifteen thousand triangles, a bit high or low or whatever. But the deal is, I kind of wanted to. Uh, download those trees and place into my game engine and create a terrain with like hundreds of trees. So I did this. Um, I'm working in a game and I have a terrain generation component that I wrote in Python. This is Cave Engine, by the way. So you can see here uh, it is running at 60 frames per second, but I'm recording my screen and I also have a real engine 5 open here, which I will go back in a moment. But so the performance may be a bit worse, but it, I figured that before uh, recording this that it is still enough like similar to before to show this video. So anyways, I have here the terrain that generates and adds 500 trees um, and I do have those trees imported into my engine. Let me actually show you real quick. You can see I have those three and those trees and I do have like a custom shader uh, of working on that. I've added like a custom shader so you can see that the the foliage is moving, all that. Uh, and also, I was like the, the original tree had very few uh, bushes. So I've duplicated the, the mesh to have like double the amount of bushes. So I did that as well, uh, which is like an extra in my engine. And then, of course, if I play the game, um, it will start the game, of course. I can walk. It's running at 61, 62 sorry, 51, 52 frames per second. You can see here in the top right corner. Um, and without any of that open, it will run at 60 frames per second. Uh, but this is like the bare limit, now 500 trees. It's like, yep, yeah, more than that, it will not gonna work. But then of course, oh, this, oh, there's an entire game here missing. I need to do an entire game left. So what is going on? Is cave like not good enough? Because people keep asking me for to add crazy stuff. And very complicated. Let me actually disable mist here so you can actually see all the trees, all at once. They all have shadows and all this. So this is running uh, fine. Again, the frame, just because I zoomed in, <laughs> now it's 48 frames per second, but it was uh, running like 50 frames. Okay. But then I was like, man, my engine is probably like not very fast, right? So what I would do is I would open a real engine 5 and I would try to see how better Unreal Engine 5 is at handling this, because my engine is running at 50 or 60 frames per second. What about Unreal Engine 5? So I opened Unreal Engine 5, and um, first things first, Unreal Engine 5 barely runs on my machine by default, like an empty scene. You can see here that I don't have enough memory to run it. I have one gig, but um, I refuse to update my machine because every time I try to create a, comp a game that is a bit more, like that costs more, for example, Real Engine 5 itself, I get complaints all, all over the place. And people say that my game is bad, my engine is bad, uh, my life is bad and everything is bad and I should optimize better. So I try to, to stick with a very old computer. I do have a GT x uh, 960 uh, it does have one gig one gig um, of vram by the way so this is definitely not enough to run the real engine 5 but again if i update this people will complain and will say that my engine is bad and poorly optimized so i, I would rather optimize it but as you can see i do have everything by the way uh turned off in a real engine 5 uh, projects. If, anyways, it everything is turned off and the scalability, except for the shadows, because low means no shadows, and this is annoying. So I put medium. Everything is on low. And what I did here is place roughly around the same amount of vegetation that I had in cave. Um, I'm using the foliage too. I'm not dragging and dropping because, of course, supposedly a real engine is meant to handle foliage just fine with the foliage system, so I'm not doing anything dumb or whatever, at least I hope not. And you can see here that the performance is a little, is a piece of garbage. Performance is very bad, <laughs> very bad. Let me actually uh, close this oak tree, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, but the performance is bad, it is extremely poor. And the question that I was asking myself is, but wait a second, why? Why is performance poor? And then I started investigating and all that. And of course, it's because 
I don't have budget to do this, of course. Uh, I need an, a better computer, so I need a supercomputer. But the question that I had, I was thinking, because I've been creating Cave, my game engine, for many years, and all this process, oh my god, now my encoding, uh, you may see everything freezing, it's not due to... Oh, now it's not. Because OBS is actually dying to process all that with our engine open. So I'll keep the engine, I'll keep my engine open here. Um, whenever I try to make graphics, oh, this tree was generated in, in, in front of me. From my engine, I try to keep like the, the, the minimal specs to like the bare minimal. Like you can run this on a potato, you can run this well. Or, like now I'm running here, I have 500 trees, the same amount of trees as a reel. I do have a reel open in the background actually, and it's running at like around 60 frames per second. With animations, I do have other dudes walking around over there. I don't know if you saw this. Let me actually restart the scene so you can see them. Um, I mean, I only have like four dudes. You can see a dude walking around. This is from the sample project that Cave Engine have. Anyways, um, but like I try to keep things in a bare minimum so everyone can work. But the problem is like people, and this is the man. This is the problem. This is the problem. I will actually type this because it, it is important. Okay, so I wrote this down because it's important and it's something that I want to analyze. People expect my engine to beat Unreal, like beat, like maybe beat, it's a hard word, not beat, but to compete at least with Unreal Engine 5 graphics and stuff, while running on every machine. But Unreal doesn't run well on every machine. And in my tests, every time I try to nerf the graphics, people complain about it. And every time I try to beef up the graphics, people complain, complain about the performance. So I, I am kind of in a moment, I mean, like... I want to improve this, like the like the graphics. I want to be able to handle like more trees, for example, and also have like um, more detailed, physically based rendering. For example, people say you should, should add global illumination. Of course, I should add global illumination. But if I add global illumination, as you can clearly see in Unreal Engine 5 here, Jesus Christ! Now my computer will die. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's running at three frames per second oh boy oh boy oh boy okay it's over jesus christ well it will probably not run on anyone's machine um and people will complain so i don't know what what do you guys want <laughs> i don't know i don't know i honestly don't know um and also like, is this good enough? I mean, my engine works fine when it comes to performance and it beats Unreal Engine 5 on my machine because, of course, it's running at 30 frames per second, only this. Of course, you can argue uh, that there is this terrain system uh, that my engine is not handling, but I don't think that this, anyways, will add much especially because my engine is doing something else. But, like, my engine is running fine with this amount of trees, and the graphics is not on minimum or whatever. There's no graphic settings in my engine. Uh, why on Rio is not? So, what is the answer for this? What, what does it mean? I don't know. I'm asking. Anyways, different video. I am not sure what we learned here. But I just wanted to show this because I'm kind of upset. Like, I'm kind of like, bro... I want this tree to be to to have hundreds, thousands of trees. I don't know. Let me actually end this video by increasing this by a thousand because I'm very curious to see how well or not well we to run with a thousand trees. They all move. They are. Oh my God! I cannot even see. This is a lot of trees. 37 frames a second with 39. Okay, with my screen uh, in recording in progress. By the way. Maybe you're seeing the the recording looks very low, uh, low FPS. It's because OBS here is screaming, saying that it is overloaded. So it's not managing the hand frames well. But trust me, it is running at 40 frames per second. Um, and Unreal, well, I don't think it can keep up with that. At least not on my machine. So I don't think that optimizing means buying a supercomputer. And if you think that, I think you're wrong. Sorry for that, but I think you're wrong. And I don't want to do this. I want my engine to run on every machine. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And that's it. <laughs> Bye.